<sighs> Hi, my name is Elin and I'm an addict. I'm a Rust addict. My YouTube channel is called Rusty Beauties. My Facebook page is called Rusty Beauties. My favorite Facebook group is called Rusty Beauties. My dog is called Rusty. And I eat Rust for breakfast. So I need help. I need more rust. You see, I'm running out of rust. I need more. There's a little bit left there. That's gonna be enough for lunch. Maybe for dinner. That's it. So please send me more rust. So all jokes aside, but the rust is getting defeated. We are seeing less and less of it on this car soon. It's gonna be rust free. <laughs> not really soon. I have enough for months here. <laughs> I'm not gonna die from hunger with these cars, don't worry. <laughs> so yeah, this is our next victim, I guess, because in the last video we finished, eh, not finished, but we've done as much as we could do there in that area welded the panels, we pulled out some low spots. We still have some high spots that we need to shrink, but that's gonna be another video when we have a spotter here. For now, we're gonna focus on removing more of the rust. So we wanna install the seal now, but the thing is we have to repair here first. We have some very pitted area, and this is a really weak spot for uh, Spitfires and GT6s, so even if the rust is not true here, it's going to be true soon. So we better replace this flange here. Uh, we need to make a repair here and we need to make an end cap for here for the seal, which I don't have, but I guess it's not that hard to make one. So I'm going to take out the door. I'm going to put the rear wheel on and I'm going to remove the front wheel. So we have a little bit more access here and then we're going to get crack locking. All right, I just put the seal on to see more or less where it goes and how it covers here. I'm not really sure if it is going to be this way. It might be lower, might be higher, depending on the door. You know, we need to have the door there, so it's tricky. The door is on our way, but on, in the meantime, we need it so we can align the position of the seal. But more or less, this is where it goes. So this piece that is missing here gets overlapped. So I guess we have to extend it, of course. I, think it's gonna have to go lower but uh, doesn't really matter because we have because we definitely need to extend this and somehow match it with this this is something that I don't understand why it's here so we're gonna cut most of it because that's inside you can see it's inside the seal and it's useless so I'm guessing we can make a flange we can make a piece here going down with the flange that is going to match this. I don't know why this is bent down. I don't think it's on the way. I think that was bent down by the people who replaced the seal and riveted it there. So to those people I can say thank you because I don't need to buy a new seal and thank you for not welding it there but riveting it because <laughs> it was easy to remove it. So yeah, I might as well cut the whole entire flange here and weld the new one in place. I don't think it is uh, a big deal. It's pitted. Yeah, at the bottom it's pitted. So it needs to be replaced. At least this part here needs to be replaced. But if I'm replacing that, I might as well go all the way and replace the whole thing. I'm pretty sure that that's how this thing was but there's so many layers of metal here and it's not needed anyways. You see, whether it's sticking up, up or down, it's not on the way, but it's not needed. So I'm gonna cut it because there's 
a little bit of frost here and I'd like to eat it for a dessert. <laughs> Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil them here at the edge and I'm not gonna grind it too much so they're gonna stay together as far as they can go and then we're gonna rebuild this corner. So let me get into welding mode. All right, so this is what it looks like. Like I welded the two pieces together. As you can see here, the weld is pretty thick and solid. And I only ground it on this side because this is where the cap is gonna go, the end cap for the seal. We need it to be flat. But other than that, I think it is nice and solid. Here I filled up, there was a hole. Here, this I forgot to weld before. So now I drilled holes for slug welds and I welded it. This is going to be trimmed later to match the seal because the seal, that's how the end cap goes. It has a little, I'm going to show you what it looks like. It has a little flange here that goes together with this flange. And uh, yeah, repaired a little bit this here. Now we can repair this part here. And I think I'm going to make it in two pieces because it's going to be easier just to deal with a small piece for here and then a bigger piece for there. So... Let's make this one first. It's the harder one, supposedly. So, But first I'm gonna make the repair piece and then we're gonna square this hole off and we're gonna put it in. It shouldn't be too hard to make. Well, that doesn't look too bad. I made a little mistake though. I should have extended it a little bit more. I'm gonna have to fill this hole later. So, this end is done. Let's actually... I haven't tested this seal yet. So, let's see how it's gonna fit. Well, that's actually perfect, right? Okay, so now, Let's repair this part here. And this is pretty easy repair here. Well, let me not speak too fast. And this is pretty easy repair here. So nobody blames me for speaking too fast. I already made this flange for here. What I would like to do though, I don't wanna cut everything first and then put this. I want to get rid of this metal here from this flange. And then I'm gonna be able to put this flange right where it's gonna be and only then cut the top end. You know what, here I'm gonna cut it through both layers, even through the, I don't know what this panel is called, and then we're gonna weld from underneath, so it's easier this way, you know?
example, here this flange also needs a little repair, which we knew about. So we're going to do that now. And then we can repair the top one. Okay, so this is repaired and painted and painted the bottom of this as well. I also shortened it and uh, now we can mark it. Okay, so now that it's tucked in place, I'm gonna spot weld this as well because I'm afraid that when I'm welding here, it might warp the whole thing. So we're gonna secure it in place. I can hold it with clamps, of course, but it's uh, much better if I spot weld it. It's gonna be spot welded later anyway, so I'm just gonna do it now. All right, and now I can finish welding it here. There you go. So I think it looks good. Even this flange here, I continue to fill up this hole as well. Uh, there's this hole I should fill in too. See, this is a rivet hole. There are a few more rivet holes, but this I can fill when I take the body out. This one might be easier to grind. There's another one here that I forgot, so I should fill this one as well because it's gonna be easier to grind while the seal is not there. So I'm gonna fill this one as well. Then I'm gonna paint everything here and from underneath. Yeah, and then we can start making the end cap. I'm looking forward to that actually. For whatever reason, I'm looking forward to making that cap.
Okay, so we're gonna have to trim this at the back from this line to this point here with this angle <laughs> and this is gonna flip around it, you know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna deal with this later, we're gonna bend it whenever we start installing the cup but we're still not ready to install the seal and the cup because I don't want to install the seal without the door. So I want to work on the seal fitment and the door bottom at the same time. I don't want to install the seal and then figure out that my door, even though I still need to repair the door, but I don't want to find out that uh, it is really hard to fit it there. I want to be able to adjust both the door and the seal so I can have nice gaps here. Maybe even this fender here, we're gonna need, we're gonna need to fit before we install the, um, the seal. So we have the end cup. We made sure that it fits more or less. Needs a little bit of adjustment, of course, but we can do that. So we are ready with this corner for assembly. Now let's focus on the door. But of course that's gonna happen in the next video because this one is gonna end here. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting and subscribing. 
Thanks for supporting the channel on Patreon and via PayPal. Some people sent me e-transfers, which is really highly appreciated, guys. Thank you so much. Just the other day, I was thinking that two months ago, I was in such a bad place. I was, I felt horrible, but thanks to you guys, thanks to your support, not only financial, but also emotional support and other types of support because there are people who stepped in and are helping me in different way. So thanks to you, I'm in a really happy place right now in this beautiful garage. I have beautiful home too. Uh, one day when there's no snow outside because now there's this much snow, but one day when there's no snow, I'm gonna walk you around the property and I'm sure you're gonna like it. So uh, thank you guys, thank you for that. So if you haven't heard yet, I have a Patreon account and if you are not Patreon and you would like to become one, you can follow the link in the description of this video. You can get to my Patreon page where you can see different ways of supporting the channel. As I like to mention, supporting the channel financially doesn't buy you anything. This is just a way for you to say thank you if you feel like it. If you can't afford to become a patron or you don't feel like becoming one, it is perfectly fine. You're still a valued uh, viewer of this channel and uh, you still have access to all the videos. There's no such thing here like early access or only VIP videos and stuff like that. No, everything is available for everybody whether they support the channel financially or not. Also, if you haven't heard yet, there's a Facebook group called Rusty Beauties where everybody can post about their projects and they can ask questions, they can answer questions to other people, they can uh, promote their products and services as long as they're related to Rust Rusty Beauties uh, one way or another. Uh, you can promote your YouTube channel if you want to, you can do many things on that page, so go and find it on Facebook. It's interesting, we already have over 600 members so thanks to everybody who joined and if you haven't you're more than welcome to do so there's no approval you can just go press the button and you join the group so i would say that's everything for today guys thanks for watching once again and i'll see you in the next one bye